Hello souls, how are you? It's time for another miraculous reading. Today we will make zodiac spread for the month of November for each zodiac sign and we will take a sneak peek on the events in the month of November. So if you are curious, please uh, stay till the end and don't forget to like and subscribe. And let's start with the first sign of the zodiac, which is Aries. Let's see what do we have for you, Aries. This is your overall energy. First house, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth. Ninth, tenth, eleventh, and twelfth. Let's see what is your overall energy. You are planning, you are building a lot of uh, plans in your head, still nothing uh, done, but you have uh, started uh, planning new events and uh, new ways looking for new ways for your life and let's begin what with the first house which will show us how you will appear in the month of november which uh, you will appear like somebody who is in love i see a lot of uh, love into your life you will manifest love you will appear somebody who is really lovable and in love people will find you very attractive and uh, will want to come near you and maybe this is the energy we have here like you see these new opportunities in your love life and uh, they make you start planning your life from now on. We will have to look also the seventh house, house which uh, shows your partnerships. And we will have the clear picture and full picture of your love life. However, to this moment it looks uh, very promising for you, Aries. Let's find out what do we have for your financial life in the month of November. It looks really promising too. Things will start, uh, start getting better. If you are struggling uh, till now, in the month of November, and uh, specifically from 6th November onwards, things will start getting better. So you have to be calm and uh, don't worry because things will get better in your financial sector in the month of November. Let's see the third house which shows your communication and your uh, siblings. If you have siblings uh, you should know that uh, some of them uh, could invite you. To a wedding or to some celebration expect good news you may get uh, also invitation from other people this will be the center of your communication in the month of november areas so it could be that you are start planning this wedding and you are inviting your siblings to this wedding with this card it could be the other way around. So there will be a lot of uh, talks about wedding, about celebration, engagements, parties, something like this. Let's see what we have with your fourth house, which shows uh, the energies in your home. It will be very, you will feel very energized 
when you are in your home you start doing something uh, changing things in your house you feel very energized and you will start um, transforming things around you you will find enough energy within yourself in order to arrange your house as you want it to be and let's see the fifth house which is the house of your children if you have any and uh, the house also of the people you love from your heart uh, they could not they could be also not uh, love partners but but also close people to your heart so there will be some situation that will remind you of uh, past negative experience and you will start uh, reviewing the past mistake mistakes you have made also if you have some uh, situation when you have to perform in front of other people you should remember uh, your past experience and learn from your past mistakes this is the advice of the nine of uh, wands so this is the advice for your for your children learn from past mistakes that you have made with them or show them how to learn from their past mistakes or if you have to perform in front of uh, other people always uh, review your past mistakes and let's see what do we have in your sixth house which is which is the house of your work environment and your health and uh, you may get some nice surprise on your uh, job place something unexpected but really pleasant and nice maybe somebody will tell you something really nice and uh, this will make you feel very well if you are experiencing some health issues we don't have nothing that talks about serious health issues here just um, maybe sometimes you are too emotional and this could this could uh, turn your uh, overall tension for example you may get too emotional and this could uh, impact your blood uh, pressure from time to time but nothing serious so let's see what we have in your seventh house in your seventh house we have somebody who is rejecting you so you are ready to love you look uh, very lovable but your partners are um, in another mood what they want is to have everything clear everything uh, to be on a logical base not that emotional and uh, what you should do is to seek advice from somebody who is really, really clever and not that emotional if you have a friend a female friend who is really smart and who you know who you trust because she's the person who will tell you the ugly truth in your face seek her advice she will advise you really well so maybe with these two cards you will have to make a choice it could be also with the two of wands that you are choosing between two people two partners because the lovers means also choice and uh, people will see you not only lovable and in love but also deciding 
here we have also two energies and you are deciding between them and your partner will tell you that you need to choose they will give you an uh, ultimatum to decide so let's see the eighth house which shows also your intuition you should work on it and you could give also some money from other people the eighth house uh, shows also money you can get uh, <clears throat> as uh, inheritance from other people you may get some financial opportunities from given from other people you have not worked from for this uh, money the second house represents the money you have earned by your own while the eighth house which is related to, also to the scorpio sign represents money you have received for example after somebody's death and uh, or, or it could be your partner's money because you have not worked for them but you will get some financial assistance from somebody and this will make you feel calmer so let's see what do we have in your ninth house we have uh, the king of pentacles ninth house is uh, your uh, spiritual growth it could uh, mean also your uh, trips abroad or your higher education so if you're planned to study to finish your studies this is a very good sign if you have uh, some tests and exams you should uh, pass this is uh, a card that shows that you will graduate you will be able to finish your studies and it's a um, very good omen so let's see what do we have in your 10th house which is your career your career growth and your ambitions they will be put uh, i wouldn't say on hold but uh, this card the temperance is uh, telling us that they will happen in divine time in divine timing which means that yes they will do they will happen but uh, not that sudden not that suddenly not that soon as you maybe expect to so you should uh, just uh, accept the, the current situation as it is without trying to rush in, to rush it and to force it and uh, slowly everything uh, will go on uh, its place so let's see your 11th house which is your friends you will be surrounded by a lot of friends uh, who love you they will show you that they like you they uh, cherish you you can uh, count on them and you have a lot of friends around you Aries so in the month of November you will really enjoy the company of your friends and uh, let's see the 12th house what should you be aware of uh, which is the house of your hidden enemies and um, just another remark seventh house represents not only your partners but also your um, open enemies like uh, the enemies that are clearly your enemies they are not hidden so there's a woman who is older than you it could be your mother-in-law usually it's an older woman or a divorced one a widow and she doesn't like you and you are well aware of this she will manifest her energies in the month of november what should you be aware of 
is that there's somebody who is an uh, enemy of, of yours and this person is in your family circle so let's find uh, some more information about this person who are they and in what sense they are your enemy So this person, it's it's a male, it could be a, a female too, but I believe it's a male, and uh, they have a fuller figure, they like to, they like good food, uh, they drink a little bit, and uh, they just want to show you that they, they are worth they, their word is the last final verdict like uh, they want to show you that they know it all and that you are still a child and something like this so expect there's uh, this person that is in your family circle to say something really unpleasant on your regards just uh, to show you that they know that they know it best so that was your reading for the month of november your prediction aries please uh, like and subscribe i hope this information was useful for you and i'll see you in the next video bye bye hello taurus Let's see what do we have for you in the month of November. First of all, your overall energies. Your first house, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth house, ninth, tenth. 11th and 12th let's see Taurus how your month of November will go your overall energies you feel very enthusiastic energized you have to move a lot in the month of November you will be just unstoppable and you may get uh, some uh, new people into your life all of a sudden and unexpected people appearing into your life so let's see how you will appear in the month of november you may be busy with some legal activities you may need to put in place some uh, documents and uh, papers so you will be very fair but uh, what i see is that the main energy you may have to deal with some documents and legal situations in the month of november you appear somebody who is a little bit uh, the touch not that emotional but very fair overall let's see your financial stability something really big will happen in your financial sector mm. let's see you may get some financial uh, flow unexpected all of a sudden maybe people from your past who once supported you financially will start doing it once again this will be unexpected but uh, they will be very judgmental also so this could be 
this, this could play out in two ways. Either your family will start supporting you again. Either your family, your parents will be very judgmental about your uh, finances. They could express uh, really loudly their opinion on, uh, for example, how you are spending your money. If you are uh, earning enough based on their opinion, something like this, expect to hear their opinion very loud and clear. Let's see third house, which is uh, your communication and uh, your siblings. If you have siblings, uh, they could have uh, some temporary health issues in the month of November. And uh, you feel not that secure in your communication. You feel that you're not at uh, the required level, required in your head to speak with other people. So you'll be a little bit shy to talk with other people. Mm, bear in mind that the Five of uh, Pentacles is a temporary setback. So, yes, it is a setback, but it's temporary. And let's see what do we have in your fourth house, which is the house of your home. We have some reconstruction going on. Maybe you are planning to build your own uh, house and you are, uh, or you are making some reparations in it. But I want to go back to this situation here with the second house. I believe these two cards are connected. So maybe you have some situation in your family where uh, also your siblings will be involved if you have any, but there will be some situation now where you are uh, having some legal issues with your parents and relatives uh, about financial items, about money, about uh, property and uh, they will express their judgment really clear but I see something like this. Don't uh, feel like you are an outcast. You have to be able to express your opinion loudly. Here we have these two cards uh, that are telling me that you are being judged by your family due to your, uh, for example, low finances and uh, you feel for example like uh, not at their level but you need to be fair and uh, remember that uh, you're doing what uh, everything based on your capabilities in your home i see that you will build something it could be also something that will be that will upgrade your home. So it could be purchased that will upgrade your home and will make it more beautiful. Your fifth house. Uh, your fifth house uh, is the house of your children. If you have any, they will be, they will uh, get some award and uh, they will make you really happy. If you're trying to get pregnant, you, this could happen in the month of November. 
you have this uh, big uh, opportunity in the month of November and uh, this could represent also people you love so expect some um, something good from for example your your partners you are not married to it if for example you are not married you may get a proposal let's see your sixth house which is your job and your health you have a really good uh, you could get really good uh, contracts on your job so if you are uh, seeking for a new job you will be able to sign a contract and uh, if you are already working you will find uh, things in common with your colleagues and your boss in terms of health with the two of cups we have uh, for example kidneys and sh you should pay attention to your kidneys so um, try not to get cold and uh, this is the sector you should pay attention in terms of health with the two of cups your seventh house is uh, the house of your partners not only in terms of uh, love but also professional ones and uh, your uh, explicit enemies too so we have something that uh, is not has not yet happened maybe you are single right now and you are waiting for your partner to appear so you are a little bit disappointed that your partner won't appear in the month of November or uh, in other terms uh, expectations won't be met let's see the 8th house which represents other people's money I see that uh, your family is not helping you so financially once again we have this topic from the start of the spread so there's some dynamic going on uh, related to finances in your family let me know in the comments please how this resonates with you what exactly is the case but I, I see that um, you're not getting the support from your family you're taking everything on your shoulders or uh, maybe you feel like that you are burden for them maybe there could be two options either you are feeling like uh, as you're not getting enough money you are some sort of a burden for them either you are taking all the responsibilities for their finances on your shoulders and this represents a big burden for you ninth house your higher education So, if you are seeking for higher education, if you want to finish your studies, here the advice is to follow the things on the right way. There's uh, some protocol you should follow. If you want, uh, you can upgrade your education also by something more structural like uh, police army military something like this where there's a specific structure 
So maybe you are planning to finish your studies or to upgrade your studies with uh, something in this direction. And uh, the cards are confirming that this will be a very good idea for you. Tent house, your ambition and your career growth. I see that uh, your ambitions will be... <laughs> You see the car, the card is uh, talking by itself. You have to let go of uh, your ambitions and surrender. Things are as they are. Don't fight anymore. There's no sense to, of fighting. Maybe you have dreamed of uh, building a career, of uh, being a uh, a boss or at least taking some good position in some company but you have to let go of these ambitions in the month of november at least remember that we are making a spread for the month of november towers so we have the house of your friends your friends will uh, be the ones who will make you feel happy, cherished, loved and they are very stable, loving and uh, abundant and they could be also the ones who will uh, suggest you how you can uh, grow how you can grow in uh, some military position or something like this maybe they have they are working already as military men, for example, or in uh, police, and they could help you with this. And uh, let's finally see the 12th house, which represents your secret enemies. So, Taurus, what do we have here? We have uh, somebody in your family once again who doesn't like you and maybe this is not the person who you are expecting because you are not aware that they don't like you let's see who is this person and what exactly they have against you who is this person so this person is somebody who lives with you in the same uh, house and uh, you have fight in the past and they remember this they have a grudge on you so think who is this person and uh, if you want you may try to clear things out but this will bring another fight so just try to avoid, be more passive with this person. This is the advice from the cards. Be more passive with this person and try not to get into fights with them. So Taurus, that was the prediction for your month of November. I hope the information was useful for you. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Bye bye. Hello Gemini, welcome to your prediction for the month of November, let's see what do we have for you, this is your overall energy in the month of November, your first house, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, 11th and 12th if you have a rising sign or moon in Gemini you can take a look at this reading too so let's start with your overall energies in the month of November you are holding to something you don't want to change uh, 
things to change. So the overall advice here is to try to save as much as you can of your energy, of your money. Try not to spend a lot of money in the month of November, Gemini. So let's see how you will appear in the month of November. You will feel like uh, you don't have that much uh, possibilities to move like you're a victim of the circumstances uh, you cannot move as much as you want with the four of pentacles uh, and the eight of swords there could be also something at, uh, on a physical level that is preventing you from movement from moving so i'm not sure if this is uh, Something that will make you stay at home longer. You see, until the end of the spread, we should have cleared out this. Let's see what do we have for your finances. So here people will see you like somebody who is uh, in their thoughts, who is not paying attention to what's going on around them. But uh, in the month of uh, November, you will be very active in your financial world. You will be very active, you will grab some opportunities, you won't miss any chance that will make you earn money. It looks like that there will be some uh, reason for you to be concentrated in your finances. So maybe this will be the reason why you are not paying attention that much uh, on uh, people around you. So let's see the third house of your communication and your siblings. Wow. With the magician in the third house, uh, you uh, perform great. You will be very um, convincing. You will be able to convince whatever. Uh, you want people and uh, if you are working in the sales field you'll be very very successful so you i see that with the days of wants in the second house maybe you are working in the sales and uh, you will be focused on earning money you will be able to manipulate other people we have uh, a lot of energy, a lot of uh, confidence in you, so you make great things in the month of November, Gemini. Let's see your fourth house, which is your home. So, with the Emperor in the fourth house, we have an energy of uh, control if uh, you if you live with other people there will be somebody who is uh, controlling you or you could be the one who is controlling them however there's somebody who is uh, trying to command everybody else to put an order to set rules and to tell how things should go this is uh, the energy in your home in the month of november the advice is to follow some routine you should uh, do things on a certain way every day try to stick to this routine and everything will be just fine you have to show discipline here gemini and let's see what do we have in your fifth house which is your children or mm, the way you can perform in front of other people you can uh, express yourself in a creative uh, manner we have uh, some issues here with the king of uh, swords because uh, it's not card you would expect to appear here 
If you have uh, children who are uh, grown up, maybe the focus will be on one of them, which is very clever, really strategic, and uh, they, however, will tell you something unpleasant. If you don't have children, this means that uh, the card represents you and the way how you express yourself uh, artistically. As the King of Swords is not very creative, we have the advice to express yourself on a very, to be very precise and strategic in what you are telling and putting out in the world so pay attention whenever you feel the need to be more creative in the month of november you should be more practical and logical and not that um, passionate and uh, creative this is the advice for you gemini and what do we have in your sixth house which is your job and your health what do we have we have the empress uh, which is abundance uh, very good health you shouldn't uh, be worried with this card uh, the only advice here for your health is to pay attention to your weights mm, because um, Usually the Empress is uh, depicted as somebody who is pregnant, but if you are not pregnant, that means that the belly will be from overeating. So pay attention to your eating habits. If, uh, if we are looking at this card in terms of your job, you will, be, you will feel very well at your workplace somebody who knows what uh, they are doing, very abundant, uh, very well placed and you may get also promotion in your status. Recognition, this is the meaning. It won't be the highest level possible, but there will be some sort of recognition. Why it won't be the highest level? Because this is the sixth house, it's not the tenth house. We'll see afterwards what we have here, but for the moment we have just a recognition for you. And uh, I see that this is somehow related uh, for, uh, to your house. So maybe you have some work routine that you are accomplishing from your home, if you're working from home. And uh, what do we have in your seventh house? So things will go as they were going till now. You are feeling a little bit disappointed from this. Uh, what your seven heart represents is uh, your partnerships and uh, not only in your in terms of love, but also in professional terms. How you are dealing with other people also shows your open enemies. So things will go as they were going till now. Nothing new, nothing unexpected. Uh, expect the same situations from your past to repeat, but you will be prepared. Your eighth house, which uh, is the money you have not earned by your own, but for example, some financial help from your family or some something that you have not worked from for we have a knight of pentacles so expect some financial help or it could be also gift a very pleasant uh, gift from somebody something uh, precious you, in the month of November, you will receive some precious gift from some from somebody. It could be jewelry or something uh, valuable. 
So this is the eighth house. We have the ninth house, which is uh, your higher education, uh, also trips abroad, contact with uh, foreigners. And we have fresh start. You are ready to maybe you are planning to start uh, new education, to learn new things. You are very enthusiastic. Yeah. This um, card is really promising. If you are planning to start new education or to upgrade your education, this is uh, something really good you should consider. It's a potential card. Uh, we don't have uh, something that really started, but maybe you get this idea in your head that uh, you should start learning something new. You should upgrade your knowledge. And let's see what do we have in your 10th house, the house of your career. Things are moving uh, to very positive direction. So with the Empress here in the sixth house and with this slick movement, nice movement of the boat with the six of swords, you should expect uh, some promotion in the near future. You get a recognition and this recognition will tell you that in the near future you may expect something good also in terms of career growth and uh, in terms of your ambitions being satisfied. But this won't happen in the month of November. In the month of November you will get like a just maybe verbal recognition, something at lower level, but you have this promise to receive some promotion later on, maybe on December or whatever your company is making these promotions. And what do we have in your 11th house? Your friends. So with the High Priestess, you, you will, uh, there's a secret coming from your friends, somebody of your friends is hiding a secret from you and you will learn it uh, in the month of November. Let's see what, let's reveal this secret. <laughs> I'm curious, what is this secret about? Maybe some of your friends is having an affair and their love life is not that interesting on their point of view. And they are attracted to, some, to somebody else. So that was not <laughs> that interesting <laughs> from my point of view. But that will be <clears throat> more or less the information you'll get from your friends. And let's find finally what do you have in your 12th house. Which is the house of subconscious. Your secret enemies and things that are hidden from you. With the world card. Your intuition will grow and um, you will have uh, really vivid uh, dreams in the month of November. Also, because it's next to the High Priestess, you will have uh, like uh, channeled messages from the universe while you are asleep and you will be able to dig, uh, to deep, uh, to dig deep 
into the Akashic Records and I know this sounds really awkward but this is the information I get I opened uh, randomly few cards from my deck and this is the information that pop up so that was your reading for the month of November Gemini please don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video bye bye hello cancers how are you let's see what do we have for you as prediction for the month of November your overall energies first house second third fourth fifth sixth seventh house eighth house ninth tenth eleven and twelve so your overall energies in the month of November will be you'll be busy with your work with your everyday task tasks but uh, your attention will be taken from finances how you can make more money how you can get better with what you are doing so let's see how you will appear in the month of november you will start planning uh, and not only planning but uh, i see that you are uh, you have planned some uh, trip for the month of november and we see it uh, already coming maybe you travel somewhere near water and uh, however we see that this trip you have planned in the past is uh, uh, getting closer to you what do we have uh, in your second house which represents your finances you feel that uh, you are earning everything by your own that you are not getting help from nowhere you are not getting the support you need but uh, if you are strong enough and you are absolutely okay with this you are a little bit sad that nobody is helping you maybe somebody should was expected to but they didn't however you are strong enough to make your path by your own and uh, you can uh, with the hermit in your second house you could find new way of earning money something really wise that could uh, require patience and time but uh, it's something that you can do by your own that is not uh, for example it's different from your everyday's work it's a new way of uh, earning money where you are working by your own so this will be something new in uh, your financial life in, uh, in the way you are making money in the month of November cancers let's see your third house which is your siblings and your co communication you will feel a little bit overwhelmed uh, maybe there will be a lot of communication going on in the month of November and you will feel that uh, it's too much for you you might have also problems with your siblings who are experiencing uh, difficult times and you have to take care also of their problems and this will be a little bit too much for you but this is minor arcana so it should be temporary 
your fourth house which is your house and in your house uh, you will feel a little bit sad about things you didn't uh, make in your past so you will while, when you are at home you start uh, getting emotional thinking about missed opportunities uh, why uh, you did something in this way rather than in another way so a little bit of moodiness when you're in your home during the month of november and let's see what do we have in your fifth house which represents your children and uh, the way you express yourself uh, in a creative manner we see a little bit of a change here and it's not that uh, little <laughs> there will be some change uh, some transformation maybe your children will start uh, acting in a new way they are growing up uh, however they won't be the same as they were till now there will be some kind of transformation and uh, even if you won't be very nice uh, surprised it won't be a nice surprise you should accept uh, this change uh, as it's inevitable if you don't have children this means that uh, the way you are expressing yourself artistically will change uh, you will reconsider your goals and you will find something deeper to think about when you are expressing yourself uh, artistically your sixth house the house of your job workplace and your health with the queen of pentacles we have a really good health uh, it could uh, appear only some digestive uh, problems but nothing serious and you are very financial stable on your workplace you may get a little bit of uh, bonus or salary increase but it's something uh, i would say it's a bonus that you get in the month of november cancers let's see your seventh house which is the house of your partners not only in terms of love but also professional ones so i see a really good uh, collaboration with somebody that will uh, bring you money you may get some uh, i see that this is the bonus you get and there will be something in addition to this bonus and uh, you will have really good finances in the month of november dear cancers you may get also some present from your husband or your partner something expensive something nice um, it could be some jewelry like something from a gold made from gold or something like this it will be something precious they will give you if you're single you may expect to receive a, a proposal or a ring at least something really nice so let's see your eighth house the eighth house represents uh, money you earn you have not earned it's uh, other people's money so with the three of cups 
I see you going to some celebration, maybe to party. It could be organized from your company or um, some birthday from another person. But uh, you will receive some financial help if you are the one who is organizing this party. You will receive some financial help for it. If you want to organize anything in the month of November, you will get invited to party and you will... Uh, you will get uh, some nice time there you have fun your ninth house which represents your education i see that you are planning to upgrade your education you may get uh, you may graduate in the month of November with uh, the Knight of with the King of Pentacles. So expect a really good results. And uh, if you're not planning to upgrade your education, uh, this would mean that you will have really nice uh, communication with uh, people abroad. You may get some uh, financial benefit from people abroad. For example, if you work with uh, foreigners, this will uh, bring you financial abundance. And if you if you are planning to earn, for example, new languages, foreigner languages, this also will be very useful for you. So there will be some uh, material result from your studies. And uh, this will bring you financial stability. We have concentration of three um, very important court cards here. And these are this uh, sector of your wheel is showing uh, your partners. So expect money to come into your life in the month of November, Cancers. You will have uh, different sources of income. Maybe, yes, uh, this will, will be money you have earned. But uh, the, the meaning is that what you have done, it will pay off. It will pay back. So expect your work to be noticed in the month of November, dear Cancers. Let's see your 10th house, which is your career and your ambitions. With the Queen of Cups, uh, I see that you will feel uh, really nice in the month of November. From emotional point of view, you will feel like uh, your ambitions are reached. So, emotionally, you feel really well in terms of your ambitions. We, we have these cards who are giving us the reason why you, we, you will feel fulfilled. Let's see your 11th house, which shows your friends. So things will go a little bit slower, but everything will, be, will feel right because uh, things are happening in divine time so there will be complete balance between emotions communications and uh, healing if your friends were having some health issues before the month of november or will have some issues in the month of november they will heal so you can tell them this. And finally, what do we have in your 12th 12 house, which represents your secret enemies and your subconscious? We have uh, a secret enemy here, 
which is uh, a woman who is older, not only than you, but a little bit older in general. She likes to make mean comments. She doesn't like you. She could be a widow or a divorced woman. But uh, she will make herself known in the month of November by making some very nasty comments about you. So that was your reading, your prediction for the month of November, dear Cancers. I hope the information was useful for you and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.